But what about Paula Prentice? The film ends without really exploring what her character teaches us about the revolution. Well, Paula Prentice thinks that she can depoliticize her horror novels. That's the problem. There's no such thing as art for art's sake. No such thing as art that stands above class struggle or is independent of it. Art must serve as part of the proletarian revolutionary cause. I think that's probably what the ghost of Polly was really upset with Paula Prentice about, and it's why Polly kept haunting her, to make Paula Prentice understand that her novels should have served as cogs in the wheels of the revolutionary machine. 